It's like kind of the final bit of uni preparation. Food. How am I going to survive? You get the point, we're going to test, guys. Yeah, um, somehow I managed to survive that. I don't know how my mum didn't kill me. Quite frankly, that was a nightmare. Uh, that's, but that's it, that, you know, feels real now. Like, that's that's it. I've packed most of the stuff. I just got to pack the stuff in my room, but we'll do that just before I go. I'll go on the 27th. It um, certainly is happening. Doesn't feel right, doesn't sit well with me, but it's one of those things that has to happen. The, the drip finally stops, and that's, that's childhood over this is the, la the last summer the last summer and this was supposed to be a good summer this was supposed to be you know the summer my 18 summer and it's gone i mean i'm one of the lucky ones you know i mean we're all when you think about it, we're all one of the lucky ones i mean to compare ourselves to what's happening in the world around us we're the, we're the lucky ones i'll take it i'll take it like that yeah um, getting university stuff is hard um there's a few things that you might forget here's a list of stuff that you might have forgotten about number one colander no idea um, sounded like a type of spice. When I saw it, I was like, ah, one of those things. You, yeah, you probably need one. But we got a bunch of like stuff that doesn't really, like, I don't really need. Tongs as well, another cool thing that probably help a lot. Place to, to dry stuff. I've, I've watched a lot of videos and seen a lot of stuff and articles about what to bring to uni and that's on all of them. Place to hang up your clothes. So if they're wet, where are you going to put them? Let's be honest. But yeah, the little things you have to think about when doing stuff for uni. But much like at uni, I need to make my own food and that's what I'm going to do tonight. And I'm going to make myself dinner and my dad so if i accidentally poison it then he is poisoned as well and you know take the whole ship down this can either go two ways all right or god awful there's no in between and there's no above that either it can only go those two i'm not very good at cooking i got quite a high grade in my cooking at like school level key stage three but that's because i i done it so bad and i wrote a whole essay about how i messed up so badly that's how i got the, the good grade but i haven't cooked anything else ba well barely anything else ever since and i was only making pesto pasta back then and i'm only making pasta tonight so hey -o. We forgot to get pasta. This is obviously not my feel. This is the first step of failure. And of many, probably. Most likely many. Return to the boil and cook for 11 to 13 minutes according to taste. Come with water. Water. That's right. Yeah. Oh no, that's far too much. Too much? Yeah. Too far, pal. Yeah. Okay. Bring the water to the boil. Yeah. No, you bring the water to the boil. Oh yeah, yeah. So leave the pasta to the side. I think pasta could be a thing. Meatballs out the fridge. Meatballs out the fridge. You've got time everything. Got the balls. Yeah. Um, it says 18 to 20 minutes. What does it say do with them? Cooking. No. Oven, 160 degrees. Um, not suitable for microwave cooking. That's what it says, it doesn't say. Okay. Could we fry them? Oh, I want to fry them. Quite How do I use the fry? Just oil and then. Just a little bit of oil. How much? Do they take longer? And how much quicker no, would it take no, to fry? Them? I, I, I'm asking quick. It's not on. I'm turning it on now. It's right. To 200. Yeah. It is at 200. Right. It does say 18 to 20 minutes on 200 yeah. on 160. So would it yeah, be? Yeah. So to put it down. Garlic bread out. Garlic bread. Look at the garlic bread. I'm trying to help you by looking at the labels. That's what I'm doing. Can we fry this as well? So you take it out of the wrap and put it on a baking tray. Oh, I'm trying to, like, you see, I just do it. Well, I what what, what am I doing? No, because I'm trying to tell you, you don't put it in yet. What do you mean? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, mix in with the sauce, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Go, no, other side. What about lime? Right, there's also a pack of mushrooms. Okay. Open the mushrooms, put them in the water. Open the mushrooms. Mushrooms are really weird. No. What oil? Spray. Do I need to rub it in? Oh, my God. It's not really coming out. Seriously. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, that works. That works, isn't it? Get a bit of the Dutch tilt on this one. Uno. I could have got to use a nice dropping ball rather than the one that's been in the dishwasher. And gone orange. That's what happens. It's not naturally orange. Oh, no. All the sauce. All the sauce that's smashing. Very easy. Stay your vegetables in this way. 
you know, preparation can be a bit um, dramatic, really. It's, um, it really can. But it's needed, otherwise I'll, I, w I wouldn't be able to eat and then possibly, you know, not survive. That wouldn't be ideal, to be honest. I, I wouldn't really enjoy that. I don't think so. I've never done it before, so I don't know, but I probably, I wouldn't enjoy that. Hello, Bobby. Hello. Hello. Strain your food on it and I get clean right now. Oh, come on. And um, here's, here's the final product. Uh, bow, bow and apple teeth. Bow and apple teeth. Bow and apple teeth. Bow and apple teeth. Wow, look at that. Teeth. How, do you, how do you think that? Looks really good. It's nice it gives me confidence. It's going to taste it and it's going to taste awful. Oh, hiya, lads. How is it going? Um, good evening. And um, I think we're going to end it here. I'm surprised it's actually edible. I think so. It's only been like an hour. It's quite dark. I just wanted to say, because um, the next few days are going to be a bit crazy, but I'm sure I'm going to do a video about it, but you might want to stick around for Friday. Have a good one. I will see you soon. And good, oh, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want with the video. That'd be cool. And I'll see you in the next one. What's tomorrow? See you, lads, and goodbye.